Good afternoon, gentle friends. Welcome back to another day. So I am not feeling crash hot today. This has been, I don't know, 10 days or so of feeling this way. And I don't know what's wrong. I'm not sick, but everything hurts and I'm exhausted and my stomach is bothering me and nothing tastes <laughs> good or exciting and I don't feel like cooking. So this kind of feels like a cross between a bad whale week, PMS week meets like, I don't know, a bit of depression with a side of long haul COVID symptoms. I don't know. I don't know. But I just, I don't really feel like doing anything or cooking anything. And I had all these plans and I just feel, ugh. so, so I'm going to, I'm just going to take it meal by meal. So today for brunch, I wanted something pretty non-fuss and I had picked up uh, an Asiago kale kit from Kroger on special. So I'm going to use that as my base. I have some of the Purdue grilled chicken shortcut strips. If you saw my video on those texturally, I like them. I think they're nice, but they just don't have any flavor to them. So I think what I'm going to do is actually cook that. I'm going to pan fry them a little bit uh, in some seasoning just to give them a bit of flavor. Then to the salad, I'm going to add some clover and broccoli sprouts, some tomatoes, avocado. I have a bit of pineapple and mandarin left. Those were both canned. Then I found my shishitos. See how the end is, they're, they're just starting to get a bit manky there on the end. I need to go ahead and use them. So I'm going to cut off those bad spots and cook up about half of these. I'm just going to pan fire those in some French onion butter. And I figured while I'm pan frying and I have the chicken and stuff, I have some of the halloumi that I had the other day. This is the cheese, squeaky cheese. Um, it doesn't melt and you basically just pan fry it. it. This particular brand, which I hadn't bought before, this is super salty. It's like, I don't know, it has more salt density than like feta. So I'm going to have that and... Yeah, basically like a chicken salad with a side of fried shishitos and fried halloumi. All right, so this is the part, obviously, that I'm going to discard. And then I've just cut up the other half, or I cut what was left of each pepper in half. I had a little tiny piece of Roma tomato left over from yesterday. Uh, I had a bit of red onion, so I've cut those up. I'm just going to put those together. I've cut two ounces of halloumi cheese. So that I'm going to throw away, and then I have the other half of the uh, shishitos, which are fine, which I'll use sometime in the next couple of days. And then I just cooked that chicken off, which is much, much better. So now it's just a matter of cooking this and a little bit of butter, and then putting the salad okay, together. We are all done. So I have the chicken that I fried in the the pan and then shishitos, tomatoes, and onion. A couple of pieces of the halloumi and then about half of the bag of the Asiago kale, some of the croutons, some of the cheese, some fresh lime juice, and it has a lemon vinaigrette which I'm going to use. So that will be lunch. All right, welcome back for dinner. I had no idea what I was going to do. And I hadn't tracked lunch 
before I had it. So I didn't know how many calories I was going to have left. And I had half of an avocado. What I had on the plate was about half of what I had. And I had half of an avocado, which worked out to just over two ounces. Um, and then I finished what was in that bag of the chicken, which worked out to be like six ounces or about a cup um, of chicken. So lunch ended up being uh, in the 800 calorie range, which is fine. I just, I wasn't expecting it and I didn't think about it when I ate it, but it was very tasty. So dinner, I'm not feeling a whole lot better. And I thought, you know what? I have half of those, this is the other half of that uh, mushroom rice noodle kit that I made yesterday. And I didn't put any veggies in it yesterday and I kind of really missed them. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up some mushrooms and then I have some green kale and I'm going to do that. Uh... This is the other half of the bag of peanuts that goes with that. It's already sort of included, but I didn't want to put them in there and, until I eat them. And then I'm going to add some shrimp. I'm going to do a jammy ramen egg. And I'm going to try... I haven't had anything on today other than the stove. <laughs> and, you know, normally I use my Instant Pot or my air fryer at least once a day. And I was actually looking... Uh, I'm going to do a a separate video for different things, different egg trials. And my Chef IQ, which is my version of the Instant Pot, it recommends that you steam them, like using a Dash egg steamer or something like that. And I haven't tried it on just the setting that it says and just let it go. So I'm actually going, that's a duck egg, and I'm just going to put that in there on the steam setting that it says, just let it go, and we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to do a jimmy egg, and then I have some togarashi seasoning. This is like a, like a Japanese seven spice. Um, on the blog, I have listed what's in there. I got that on Amazon, and then I'm just going to put some fresh lime juice on top of that. And that's it. So I'm going to do a little noodle bowl based on what I have there. And that will okay. be dinner. So I have my duck egg on the trivet with a cup of water. And from everything that I'm reading, you can take the egg straight out of the fridge temperature. Make sure you're using cold water in your pot. All right, so got that. And then I'm going to put that on steam. Come down to egg. I want a soft boiled. I'm doing one to six eggs. So this says that it will take 11 minutes. Okay. Yep. Okay. And of course, remember when you're steaming that you want your vent open. All right, so pressure cook, you've got it closed. Steaming, you want it open. Let's see what happens in 11 minutes.